Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you uh, how to set up Big Bear Casa OS on Casa OS. I did make a video on how to do this before, but I'm going to be updating it because uh, some things have changed, like with Big Bear Casa OS and with going to the Big Bear community now instead of the Discord. So, uh, a little bit about this series. I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and Let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is Big Bear Cost OS. It's a third party app store maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, it's grown a lot since I created a video last on getting it set up. And I've also moved to the Big Bear community uh, forums and all that. So I thought I'd update it and uh, show you how to get set up with Big Bear Cost OS. So um, it's got quite a few apps nowadays and it's growing. So, um, this is the video that I'm replacing with this video. And uh, the custom app store is only supported on Cost OS version 0.4.4 or newer. Um, so I'm gonna go up here to app store URL right here and I'm gonna copy it. Then I'm gonna go over to my Cost OS and get this set up. So I'm gonna start on my Cost OS and I'm gonna go to app store and then more apps over here, a text template to pop out you're going to paste in the URL that you copied over from Big Bear Cost OS. And then I'm going to press add. Now we have 190 apps available. So um, you won't see it over here yet, but I'm going to refresh the page, go back in the app store, then go to Big Bear Cost OS right here. You can click it, and now you can see all the apps that you can install from Big Bear Cost OS. So we got it set up. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So if you have an app that's not already on Big Bear Cost OS, you can always suggest apps um, to, uh, to be added to Big Bear Cost OS. Um, you can uh, scroll down to App Store Suggestions right here and then go to the Big Bear community. Uh, you'll need to sign up and then um, you can create a post for each app suggestion. Do not put in multiple apps in one post. Um, so uh, I'll also be detailed like about the app, uh, if they have a website, and also uh, if they have a, an example Docker Compose because that really speeds up the App Store Suggestion re review. Um, so that's how to get app suggested to Big Bear Cost OS. So if you have an issue um, that's uh, uh, from an app on Big Bear Cost OS or something like that, um, do not create an issue in the GitHub right here. Please don't. You can scroll down to need help or have an issue right here. Then go into Big Bear Community right here. Uh, you'll need to sign up. And then once you sign up, you can create a, your, a, your first post. Tr tr try to be detailed in your first post, like any errors or any logs or anything like that that can help the community solve your your issue as fast as possible. Do not put just, oh, I have an issue. That won't give the community detail on solving your issue. Um, so that's how to submit an issue to Big Bear Cost OS. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting Big Bear Cost OS set up on Cost OS. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.